a big salad. <laughs> morning um it is what day is it it's thursday morning i have a dentist appointment later i just wanted to come on because i had kind of an epiphany as i was walking out the door i have a lot i want to cover <laughs> so so i used to beat myself up a lot about not having like a morning routine yeah, good thing i get paid tomorrow because my gas is empty i used to get so mad at myself in the sense that I can take care of myself better than I am. My routine would just be me like rolling out of bed, throwing on something, and putting my hair in a messy half up bun and leaving. I am trying not to do that and I've realized the way to do that is to add one little thing at a time. So like instead of the messy half up bun, I do these little things and that incorporated into my routine makes it a lot easier. <laughs> this is such a silly like epiphany. In my head it was like this like little breakthrough and like voicing it back out it's like this is silly. <laughs> yeah I've noticed that and you know maybe like the next thing I'll add is like putting on a little mascara before I go somewhere. And thankfully I have kind of a uniform. I wear like a black dress and like some sort of shirt and that's my work uniform. <laughs> uniform. I work somewhere where there's no like uniform uniform. That's just something I'm gonna try to work on and incorporate more into my mornings. I need to wake up earlier, but I think the way to do that is to set little increment goals. So like, I think I woke up at like 7.15 so now the goal would be to wake up at 7.10 tomorrow. You know, just like little increments. Like I have to baby step everything because if I do anything else, I'm gonna get burnt out, which is a little frustrating because I like to think that I could be able to do everything, you know, zero to a hundred. But I guess that's just part of the acceptance I'm going through. I also, like, this is just such, like, a first world epiphany where it's like, oh, I can take better care of myself if I wake up 10 minutes earlier. And it's like, <sighs> there's so many bad things going on right now. Like, holy shit. I think, like, <laughs> that's the problem. I, I was watching an, an Imani um, Crutches and Spice TikTok this morning, and she was talking about how, like, some people, uh, and I'm greatly paraphrasing, compartmentalize. That's something I can't do. I can't compartmentalize. Like, I get these waves of sadness every day knowing there's just like something bad happening in the world and there's nothing I can physically do right now to stop it. Like, I don't have a platform. I'm not, I don't have money. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything other than just my ability to get educated and vote. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that part in, but maybe I will. Who knows? I'm just a nobody on the internet. We're introducing the cats to the balcony right now. Let me show you. Gorn was just out there, but now little Gummy is checking it out. Yeah. It's just our house, but outside. Yeah, you're such a good boy. We have a pretty tall banner. And I don't think they're going to jump on that. So it's, it's secure for supervised, supervised outside visits. She does this every morning. Oh, hello. So 
so this is the finished look. The finished look. I say like I actually did something. I'm up early because I want to get to work early. I'm so tired. I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna just try to make the best of this day and get everything done. It's really rough sometimes, some mornings. Um, I'm just, you know, doing my best and sometimes getting going every day is hard. Maybe the sound quality will be better if I don't have my AirPods in. I need to find my little microphone. <sighs> I can't help that I sigh a lot. I really can't. It's a regulation tool. So I'm at a park. I'm at my favorite park. I thought about going to the shitty park by my work and I thought, why would I do that when my favorite park with ducks, I mean, there's ducks here. Why wouldn't I go there? I got Qdoba and I'm gonna sit my ass here and eat. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm actually only gonna eat like a quarter to a half of it and eat the rest later because I found that I need to eat smaller meals more often. So instead of just having three big meals a day, I need to have like six little ones. I'm not a dietitian. Do not follow my advice. But if it helps you, consult your doctor. All the ducks are swimming across the pond. <gasps> They're coming over here. I gotta get this. Look at the little babies. They waddle. They're so cute. I love ducks. I think they want food, but we don't feed the wildlife here. Mm -mm. I'll look into like what's legal and what's recommended for ducks. Cause if I can, like if they're like sort of domesticated, I'll bring some bird seed or something or whatever they should be eating. But I'll look into it before I do anything. Cause eco first, I say using a plastic fork. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to be better though. That's all we need is a bunch of people being imperfect ecologically. E ecologi ecologi ecologically? Regardless, that's all we need is a lot of people trying to be eco imperfectly. <sighs> Let's see, do I have any words of wisdom for y'all today? Number one, don't drive like an idiot in parking lots. I almost got in an accident on my way to get this because some girl wanted to just right across the parking lot and ignore flow of traffic completely. Always wear a seatbelt. I didn't used to, and now I do, like religiously. My friends watching this will be very happy to hear that. I thought there was a man doing karate by himself, but he was playing disc golf. I forgot this place is a disc golf course. At least I think it is. It looks like there's some disc golf things set up. No, he's clearly playing disc golf. I'm silly. I want it to be said that I'm never going to film anyone who doesn't want to be filmed. So, like, if you want, like, really aesthetic videos of people, like, I'm going to only film people who want to be filmed. So, you'll hopefully see some of my friends. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to film anything, like, way too publicly. But I really love the idea of doing funny videos with my friends in the future and just like having it saved forever. Get yourself um, external hard drive, put your videos on it, save everything, save everything in some way that's not just the internet. Another word of advice. I'm also, I'm filming <laughs> because I have a very hard time being alone with myself. And so normally on my lunch breaks, I'll call my parents and just talk about nothing. And I love them and I love talking to them, but I think it's better, well, it's not better, but I think it's a good idea for me to be alone with my thoughts. And this is a good way to be alone without disassociating. <laughs> Cause it's like I'm talking to a friend, like I'm pretending like I'm FaceTiming a friend. And that's my favorite kind of vlog to watch is people talking to like their friends, you know, treating their vlog like a FaceTime. 
I love that. There's like a pod of three ducks. They're just chilling together. It's so cute. But let's see. Let's plan out what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Hell yeah, mama. There is a girl. Well, a woman, I should say. There's a woman just power walking. Like she's using her fists. I love people. I love just watching people live their lives. I think that's why I like vlogs so much. Because I like watching people live their lives, especially if I can relate. I never know whether to reheat Qdoba or eat it cold. It's not great cold. These aren't really great leftovers. Maybe I shouldn't eat all of this now just because it's going to make me feel like shit. Like too full. I have binge eating disorder. So if I'm if I eat too much, that can really freak me out. I'm just talking about my own experiences here. I'm not ever going to offer it. I mean, I'll just talk about my own experience and what works for me. I'm never going to tell anyone what to do. <laughs> or like, you need to do this if you have binge eating disorder. Like, no. Like, <laughs> I love how I've only posted two videos and I've already name dropped like two brands that I don't want to work with. <laughs> They'll probably never work with me. Maybe I'll get blacklisted from having sponsors. I don't really care. I'm not interested in selling people things. I want people to watch because they authentically like me. Not because I'm like a trend setter. I'm 26 now. I feel like there's a lot of things I need to cover. I'm 26 now. I'm currently taking a break from college currently working full-time I need to keep checking the time so I know when to go back because <laughs> like I showed a little bit of my apartment but it's a mess oh my god all the ducks are coming over here they really want food <laughs> oh they're all waddling over here oh that's precious Ooh, she's got a beautiful blue stripe. Ugh, I love ducks. It's my dream one day to own land and own animals. I have experience working with animals. For those who don't know, I used to work with llamas. I literally brought like my crochet and my notebooks. I was gonna do something. <gasps> what if I what if I back out and the ducks are there? It's surrounding my car and I haven't even been feeding them. I'm so scared. I just opened my door to look. Oh my God, they're all right there. I think they went under my car. Look at them. No, don't come closer. I gotta leave soon. And I'm gonna try to back out without hitting any ducks. Cause that would ruin my month. I'll have to tell the story about how a bird got stuck in the fender of my car, like the grill, and I gave it a burial. I wish story time YouTube was still like a thing, because I have so many stories. So many stories. I'm so chatty. I'm so chatty when I think no one's listening. All right, let's scare the ducks away. Gluten sanity. Everything's a mess, so we're gonna try to fix that, starting with this. So you can see we got just stuff everywhere. It's a nightmare mess. We'll start with what we got. Something's better than nothing. Would this be better as a time lapse? Listen, forgive me, I'm still figuring out this vlog shit. I got it decluttered at least. I got it decluttered. It's still gross. We're gonna get there. I can't drink because it gives me 
heart palpitations. Because my favorite wine is Stella Rosa and they make a non-alcoholic version that doesn't, doesn't go bad. It doesn't go bad. It's dinner time for the little babies. Watch this. I think I'm gonna go back to a time lapse. Clutter once this is clean. I'm gonna try to keep you updated on the cleaning situation, but I think I'm gonna get a lot done this weekend. If I'm filming myself, I feel like I have to do it, and it's working. Mm -hmm. 